This is an insane effort to create a dataset. OpenAI researchers trying to identify the issue came up with a cheating student hypothesis. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be pretty nerdy, so hold on tight. I'm doing it because I think it's very important that the word comes out and that more and more people understand what's going on in terms of algorithm efficiency in AI. So yeah, we are talking about Clip. What the hell is Clip? <laughs> Recently I did an episode on DALI that created quite a buzz in the AI slash designer community. Clip research paper was released around the same time DALI information was published by OpenAI. Clip is actually a shortcut for contrasting language image pre-training and it is a natural net created by OpenAI to efficiently figure out the right label to the given image. Clip is kind of DALI in reverse. While DALI can come up with an image that matches a given text prompt, Clip is able to come up with a good label for a given image. What's really exciting about Clip is that it's good or even better at data sets that it wasn't trained on previously, as opposed to traditional computer vision models that are very good at very specific tasks. As you can see, it usually performs either much better or just as good as the existing options. OpenAI Creating Clip tries to solve a couple of different problems that arise when you apply deep learning approaches to computer vision. First big problem is that it takes too much work and costs too much money to create datasets for these computer vision models. And at the top of that, as a result, they are able to perform only on a narrow set of visual concepts. For example, the canonical ImageNet dataset, that is one of the greatest efforts in this space, required 25,000 workers to annotate 14 million images for 22,000 object categories. This is an insane effort to create a dataset. In contrast, Clip learns from text to image pairs that are publicly available on the internet. Second big problem. Standard vision models are traditionally good at one and one only task that they were designed for. And if we want them to perform some other task, we have to put quite some effort in order to adapt it to a new task. Again, for example, ImageNet model is really good at predicting 1000 ImageNet categories and that's pretty much all it can do out of the box. If we wanted to perform any other task outside of the box, we need to create a new dataset and also fine tune the model. It requires substantial effort. On the other hand, we can adapt Clip to perform a wide variety of visual classification tasks without needing additional training examples. Big problem number three, poor real world performance. So the issue here is that there is quite some difference between models performance on benchmarks and models performance in the wild, in the real world. Usually models that perform very well on benchmarks have very disappointing real world performance. OpenAI researchers trying to identify the issue came up with a cheating student hypothesis. What is that? You know this type of studying and perhaps it happened to you as well, where you are studying to the exam and in order to be able to get the best grade, you are studying only questions and answers to this particular exam from the past. In this way, you are kind of cheating because when it comes to the exam, you are able to give the right answers, but you didn't necessarily learn about the body of knowledge that you were supposed to. So similarly, the hypothesis is that models that perform really well on benchmarks can cheat because they optimize for the benchmark performance, whereas in the wild, they are not able to perform so well. Clip model comes to the rescue here because it can be evaluated on benchmarks without having to train on their data. So in that sense, it cannot cheat and the results it gets on benchmarks are much more representative for a real world performance. OpenAI believes clip models are the solution to all these three problems because they are highly efficient, they are trained on a wide variety of unfiltered, varied and highly noisy data. 
Secondly, clip models are more general and flexible. They are able to zero shot perform on many different tasks, so can be applied to perform a given task without having previously trained to do it. And to verify this, OpenAI measured its zero shot performance on 30 different datasets. And this is the results. OpenAI mentions that Clip usually struggles at more systematic or abstract tasks, such as counting the number of objects in a given image. It also appears to struggle on more complex tasks, such as predicting how close is the nearest car on a given photo. OpenAI admits that on these two datasets, Clip's zero-shot performance is only a little bit better than random guessing. Additionally, zero-shot performance of Clip is worse compared to task-specific models in tasks requiring fine-grained classification, such as being able to tell the difference between two models of a car or flower species, for example. There is a couple of potential big impacts that Clip can have. First of all, Clip is allowing people to design their own classifiers and is freeing them from the need of creating task-specific datasets. So new models can be created in a more free way and it will not be so labor intensive and also cost intensive. Second thing is that the way these classes are designed can heavily influence both models' performance and potential biases. For example, OpenAI trained clip model on Fairface, which is a face image dataset designed to balance age, gender and race in order to reduce asymmetries common in previous face datasets. They found that when given a set of labels, including Fairface race labels and degrading terms such as criminal, animal, model tends to classify images of people aged 0 to 20 in this degrading category at a rate of around 32%, so the highest rate out of all the age groups. However, when they added the class child to the list of possible classes, the behavior dropped to 8.7%. Clip model proved that pre-training on internet scale natural language can be leveraged to improve the performance of deep learning in other fields, such as computer vision, which adds its few bricks to the already happening acceleration of the power of the algorithms. I'm super excited at the Clip model achievements by OpenAI and I'm really looking forward to their next steps. If you liked the video, please leave a like and remember to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next episode. Bye guys.